Hi, this is Angie. So we are in my main food pantry. This is where I keep all of my dry goods and um, any of my other packaged items. Um, I think in my previous video, or one of my previous videos, I had mentioned that this pantry actually used to be our broom closet. We used to keep our broom, mops, um, vacuum cleaner, trash can and recycle bins in this closet. But it was really a waste of space because this closet is so big and we were quickly outgrowing our smaller main food pantry. Um, so my husband and I decided to go ahead and convert this into our main food pantry. And we bought this shelving unit from Home Depot and he installed it. Um, I actually love this shelving unit so much that I bought some uh, additional shelves just like this and we use that upstairs in the hallway for the school supply stockpile. So we're going to start at the bottom here on the floor. I use every inch of space possible including the floor and on the bottom here we've got some of my baskets. These are baskets that I purchased from Walmart. I love these baskets. Um, any open snack items, any open food items go in these baskets. So the rule in our house is anytime the kids open a snack, it goes in one of these two baskets here. And once these baskets are full, they're not allowed to open any more snacks. They have to go through these first. I've also got a couple of baskets in the corner um, with some full-size candy bars. I never pay more than 49 cents for a candy bar and I stockpile these throughout the year and pass them out at Halloween. Um, I don't have a lot of trick-or-treaters in my area so I don't really need to buy the large bags of fun-sized candies for Halloween. Um, instead I can stockpile these full-size bars and just pass them out and the trick-or-treaters love my house for that reason since I think I'm one of the few houses in the neighborhood that passes out full-size candy bars. Then we've also got a basket of squash. I think I had mentioned previously that we grow our own vegetables and I do my own canning. Um, I don't can the squash but I do freeze it after blanching it. So I've got a basket of squash here that I um, haven't got to freezing yet. Under the bottom I also store all of my bottles of water. These bottles of Propel I got from Kroger for 49 cents. So I have quite a stockpile of those. And then in the back here we've got some juices. There's some apple juice and some of the V8 juice. My kids love the V8 V Fusion juice. And in the corner on the bottom here, I've got my air popper, but also some of my large containers of oil that I buy in bulk from Sam's Club. Um, I buy the olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, um, that type of thing from Sam's Club in bulk. This next shelf up is all of our snacks got some popcorn in the corner there, some cookies, Twinkies, um, rice cakes, there's some pretzel sandwiches, got some crackers, some Rice Krispie treats and fruit roll-ups. Um, these fruit roll-ups were a dollar at Target and I had a 50 cent off coupon. So those were a really good deal so I stocked up on those. And then we've got some candy here in the corner. And the reason I have so many snacks is because my kids pack their lunch every day they take their lunch to school. I also take my lunch to work and my husband has recently started taking his lunch to work. So we go through a lot of snacks. The reason my kids take their lunch to school is because the schools only give them 20 to what 25 minutes for lunch. By the time they wait in line, get their food, buy their food and then sit down to eat, they have five minutes to eat and it's just not enough time. It's not healthy either. So that's why they take their lunch to school and that's why I stock up on the snacks. Um, I usually give them one or two snacks with their lunch in addition to a fruit or a vegetable. They pack a sandwich. Um, sometimes they'll pack a thermos with a hot meal like spaghetti or soup. This next shelf we've got my tea in the corner here. Um, I don't drink tea. My husband however is a big tr tea drinker. He's not brand loyal so he doesn't care if it's the Tetley the Lipton and you'll see back here there's some Lipton tea and then we've got our sugar got my jello pudding 
Um, we don't like the instant pudding here. We like the cook and serve pudding. So I stock up on that when I can. Jello itself isn't very expensive, but I usually um, find some pretty good coupons for it. Then I've got some of my baking items here. Some fudge brownies. Um, there's some frosting back here in the corner. And I've got some cake mixes in the back. Then I've also got some of the Keebler um, Ready Graham Cracker Crust. And there's some frosting. We've got some dry milk here. Um, the instant dry milk. And then we've got some oatmeal. I stuck up on the oatmeal throughout the year because during Thanksgiving and Christmas I do a lot of baking. So I make a lot of cookies. Um, and my husband's favorite is the oatmeal cookies. And the instant milk, <clears throat> what I do because we go through so much milk in my house, I'll take a two gallon bottle of milk, split it into two, and then I'll mix up a batch of the um, instant dry milk and mix it in with the regular milk. And the kids don't taste the difference. They've never tasted the difference. They probably weren't even aware I did this. Um, and they won't find out until they see this video. But it's a great way to stretch your milk. Then we've got some more baking mixes here, some of the uh, pancake mix, and zoom out here, some of the Martha White muffin mixes. And I stock up on the Martha White because it's not expensive, and there's really a, a good variety of muffin mixes. And actually what I'll do sometimes is I'll bake these ahead of time and then just freeze them, and we can just pop out a muffin in the morning, stick in the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds, and you're good to go for breakfast. Then we've got some more snacks here in the corner, and here's my um, vegetable seeds. I mentioned that I have my own garden, and here are some leftover seeds from this year that I'll plant next year. Another thing that I love about the shelving unit are these little baskets. And what I do is I take things like gum, Tic Tacs, um, opened packages or snacks that are left over from the open boxes where there's maybe just one or two left. Doesn't make sense to keep the whole box taking up space in the pantry. So I'll put those in these little baskets here. So I love these baskets. And in the corner here, I've got a basket full of the Mio. Um, these are the liquid water enhancers. There's 24 servings in one container. I bought these on sale from Target, and I stacked them with a Target store coupon and a manufacturer's coupon. And I think I paid maybe 24 to 49 cents for this bottle. And it has 24 servings in it, which is a really good deal. And the kids love these. Um, you, know, you just take one or two drops of these mix them with your glass of water and you have a flavored water and there's a couple different flavors in here. I think their favorite is probably berry, pomegranate, maybe strawberry, I'm not sure. But you know they've got a bunch to choose from. This next, um, <clears throat> this next shelf has all of my rice, my boxed meals like the hamburger helper, the tuna helper, um, we've got some of the Zatarain's rice mix in the back there, Uncle Ben's, Jasmine rice, the Nora rice sides. Um, I'm not brand loyal, so um, rice is rice. Whatever's on sale and what I have a coupon for, I'll purchase. I also purchased some of these instant noodles, which these were on sale at Walgreens for 25 cents. So this is a really good deal, and I stocked up on these. Right now, I've just got three left, and that's only because the kids went through them this summer. Um, and then this probably is my favorite rice, the Minute Ready to Serve. I take these to lunch and they're great because it only takes 60 seconds. And the reason these are my favorite is because every box always comes with a coupon on the inside. And that's why I like these because they always have coupons. Then I've got my old El Paso tortilla stuffers. I love these because you can pop these in the microwave 60 seconds. They have everything you need in them um, from the rice to the meat, the beans, peppers, 
All you do is throw these in a tortilla with some shredded cheese and some sour cream, and you've got dinner in you know a minute or less. These were on sale at Foodline for two dollars and forty four cent, but they don't expire until February two thousand twelve. They went on sale because. Food Lion was introducing some new products and they needed the shelf space. So when I combined those with the store coupon and a Catalina, um, I paid less than a dollar for all of those, or for each of those. Then I've got some stuffing in the back here, which I'm low on stuffing. I only have two boxes, but I will stockpile uh, some more stuffing when it goes on sale in uh, towards Thanksgiving. I'm running out of time on this video. Um, so this video will be in two parts, but I've already shown you all of my pasta and my boxed meals, my rices, and some of the other instant meals, my little baskets with the individual packets. Um, I like these baskets because these items are hard to stack, and so I can just throw them in these baskets. And again, we've got my snack shelf here, um, along with my baking items, my tea and sugars, some oatmeal, some of my muffin mixes, my seeds from my garden this year. There's some snacks, more snacks. And this candy in the corner was all um, less than $2. Got our fruit roll ups. Lots of snacks to choose from. So the kids always have uh, plenty of variety in their school lunches that we pack. Um, they're never lacking for variety. Then we've got my candy stockpile here in the corner, which again I mentioned that I stock up on these full size candy bars and pass them out at Halloween. Oh, I've got some Atkins shakes in the corner there. Um, some bulk syrup, which I purchased from Sam's Club. My squash. Uh, my baskets of open snacks. And I love these baskets. Whenever they go on sale at Walmart, um, I'll buy maybe four or five. And I always find a use for them. And then lots of water and juice bottles on the bottom here. It goes all the way to the back. And then my bulk oils. So that's about half of this food pantry. And in my following video, I will show you the second half of this pantry.